As I say, I would not want anyone uh, to have to go for such a minor breach of the rules. But the point is, Sturgeon has said quite clearly it doesn't matter how small the law breach is. If you're responsible for making the laws, if you break just one of them, you're out. You've got to resign. So surely she has to follow her own advice. Yeah, I absolutely agree with you, Jan. Um, Nicola Sturgeon was one of the most lockdown extremists that we've had in this country. I mean, Mark Drakeford in Wales, I think, ran her a very close second. But let's be honest, she was absolutely draconian about these lockdown, yes. lockdown laws. And it's not the first time that she's broken her own rules. She broke them back at a funeral in um, December 2020 when she didn't wear a mask. Uh, she broke them again in February 2021 when she went maskless at a, in a, at a party at a village hall. And now this particular breach. Now, I totally agree with you. I think masks are absolutely useless. They don't work to prevent the spread of COVID. It was a pointless law. It was a law that should never have been introduced in any country of the UK. But the fact is, Nicola Sturgeon introduced it, hammered it home harder than most, and now has the hypocrisy to turn around and say, well, Boris should resign for effectively a party that he didn't know was going to happen by all accounts. But she, for the third breach of the rules, so effectively the third time the police have come round to uh, to Holyrood and knocked on her door, um, she's saying, no, I've done nothing wrong. I'm terribly sorry. It was a dreadful mistake. I'm sorry. It doesn't wash. If you're going to live by a political rule that says, I will attack my opponents for any little mistake mm. that they make and demand their resignation, I'm afraid you should also fall by that same rule. Yeah, I mean, Peter Tatchell, when Margaret Ferrier, the SNP MP, who travelled by train between Scotland and London, even though she had tested positive for COVID, after that happened, Sturgeon went up to a pulpit uh, in Scotland and said, trust me, it's one of the easiest things in the world in politics to call for tough consequences when one of your own opponents break the rules. That's not hard for any of us. The litmus test, though, is whether you're prepared to do the same when it's one of your own breaking the rules. Well, absolutely. Um, lawbreakers are not supposed to be lawmakers or vice versa. Yeah, but Sturgeon's broken this law. The laws that they have made. Um, I do think, however, that although Nicola Sturgeon is wrong and she did very promptly apologise, she didn't try to cover up like Boris Johnson did. She did make a fulsome apology very swiftly and immediately. Um, I think that's different from Boris because Boris tried for weeks and weeks to deny there'd been any law breaking. He tried to cover up. He misled Parliament. He misled MPs. Um, he said all along that the full guidance, the law had been followed. 